Hey guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher, long time no see, right? <laughs> today is Monday, May 1st, and today is the first day of Mania. And as I mentioned before, in Mania I'll be stitching on each of my whips for 22 days, and then for the other 9 days I'll be making a new start. So, today is one of my whips. This is Gaze a While by The Heart's Content, as you can see up there. This is a sampler stitched entirely on silk gauze. 40 count silk gauze. Um, so as you can see over here, there's a little house that I've done. Um, yeah, there's my rusty needle. Yeah, this this was this is a kit from the Heart's Content. Came with two needles. Of course, both of them are rusted, which was kind of annoying. But there you go. There's quite a bit of floss. See, there's more floss over there. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, you can't even see how much there is. Each of these <laughs> tags is one piece of floss. I think there's 26 colors. Um, it's all Soie d'Alger silks. Um, yeah, so I started working on this probably 2008, 2007, something like that. Uh, yesterday I picked this up, I had only done the top half of the house here, and not the windows, so I did quite a lot yesterday. Today I'll just keep working on some of the other little bits of flowers down here, and the sky up there probably. Um, I like this, it's really cute, I've been really into silk gauze lately. I was watching Goldfishy and she was talking about um, miniature needlework um, and it's got me thinking a lot about <laughs> silk gauze and what I can do with it. I've been looking online, there's a bunch of things I found. Uh, just a moment. Here we go. Nope, wrong one. Mm, there we go. Oh, let me zoom in. Wow! I forget how small my computer is for most people. I have a 4K screen so most of the time it's really small. Um, there's the chart I'm doing. See the price? $48. What? That doesn't even include the frame. You can buy the frame on here. Um, this is the Heart's Content website. They've got some really, really beautiful silk gauze um, kits. Look at this. I love this. This one came out at Nashville Market. Pierre the Peacock. That's another one. So pretty. I think when you click... Oh, here we go. Oh, so pretty. I want that. I want this really bad. $64. Yeah, when I'm rich, I'll buy that. So yeah, The Heart's Content does really good silk gauze kits. If you want to do it in a bit of a cheaper way, um, you can actually do threads through time. This is a, this website is Emily's. Um, threads through time doesn't have a website, but as you can see, all of these little kits here are actually silk gauze kits. And they're quite cheap, $6. They're, well, they're not strict. They're not really kits. They're the chart, and they come with a piece of silk gauze, and they're just charted for DNC threads. So you just use your own threads, and six dollars is a pretty reasonable price, right? So all of these you can get from here. These are all silk gauze, I believe. I've actually got an order coming from Emily's. I've ordered one of these. I can't think which one. It's called Boston Band Sampler. Where is it? Oh, it must this this one? Yeah, it's pretty, right? Um, and here's one that I did years ago. This is Thread Through Time. There it is. You can't see the date there very well. It does say 2006. I did that one in 2006. And just in case you're not convinced of how small they are, there's a bobbin. 40 count silk gauze. As you can see, the silk gauze, I mean, 40 count is small, but the silk gauze is actually easier to see than 40 count linen. So there's how, that's how small my little house is cute right um yeah so i've been as i said looking at more silk gauze and i'm going absolutely crazy for these ones check this out that is this is from dollhouse needlepoint um there are a few websites where you can buy just plain silk gauze i have a few pieces and you can buy some patterns and kits to make some of these this one this one Amazing, right? The detail in this is incredible. Um, the price of this is also incredible. I think the price is $275 US. Um, they do come with Gloriana silks, so I can see why they're so expensive. But I mean, wow, isn't it gorgeous? And of course, uh, if you haven't seen Mary Corbett's blog, she is stitching it at the moment. Check that out. So pretty, right? My gosh. Um, yeah, amazing. So pretty. I would love to do this. When I'm rich, I'll do this. Yeah, that's on my wish list. What's next that I've got to show you? This. So you can buy silk gauze in all sorts of counts, all the way up to 121 count. 
Yes, 121 stitches per inch. I think that's pretty crazy. I actually don't think you could get a needle and DMC cotton through that. I think you'd have trouble with anything past about 60. This is 83, 70, 55. Oh, I just thought it came in 60. Here we go. I want this pack, <laughs> the beginner's pack, a four by four inch piece of all those different counts. That's pretty cool, right? And a piece of black. That's pretty cool. I think that's nice. Um, so I actually do have some pieces of silk gauze. I have a piece of 40, I think it's about 12 by 12, and a piece of 50 count. I wonder if I can get them out. Sorry, I know the camera's shaking. Uh, yeah, here we go. Silk gauze, 50 count, 13 by 13 inch piece. Focus. There we go. I think you can see that. It's folded up, which is why you can see weirdness on the holes. So 50 count at 13 inches, 50 times 10 is 500. Yeah, you could do a hade on this pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, right? If you were crazy enough to do a hade on silk gauze. I actually would love to do that. So I thought what I would like to do, I need to make this bigger again. What I would like to do on silk gauze is this one. This is um, Bloom Where You Are Planted by... Just waiting for it to load. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, view image. There we go. There we go. Um, view where you are plant. Bloom where you are planted by birds of a feather. And I have this kit in my. Sorry, this chart in my stash. And I was thinking I could do this on silk gauze because it looks so pretty, right? And it would be really cute if it were teeny tiny. <laughs> um, of course, if you did it on silk gauze, you'd probably want to pick a neutral colour to fill in all the background, you know, around the flower and the letters. So it would take a long time to stitch, for sure. Um, but yeah, I think that's really cute. So after I finish this one, Gaze a While, I might do that. Or I might get really, really rich and buy the Tree of Life tapestry. Um, if you want the, the website that you buy this from, it is dollhouseneedlepoint.com. So yeah, amazing, right? Oh, so pretty. I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay, that's all I have to say about this. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another exciting whip. Have a great May the 1st. Bye!